All right, doors to the barn are open. Gonna finish off this outflow project. If you remember from last video, I got all two from connecting. So I'm getting into connecting here. Got my little station built. I got my doors open so it can ventilate because that stuff stinks and just would rather it not settle into my other aquariums. But with the connection pieces here, I actually have to go and cut them individually because they're not all the same. It's going to be a little process. I got one done. Got a zip tied up there. Run through the rest. Plumbing is connected and finished. Well, for the most part. At least for this rack, it is done. I do have to connect it to the main water source line, which that's going to take me about a month to get to because I'm going to have to run it through and around all kinds of stuff before I can even get to that. But now one last piece that goes up on the inflow here to keep it from splattering everywhere. Now, since I can't use this to fill it up yet, I'm going to have to get it wet first. Now, since it's not plugged into the main water line, and now the most exciting part, fill them up. It's gonna be all day process. At least, I don't know, I'll be lucky to fill them all up by the day. And good thing I got two hoses to help get the job done. Oh man, oh man, long way to go, but exciting, woo. -woo. And you can see why the water change system is needing. Just even topping these off and filling them up and having to do it with two hoses. When the water system is actually hooked up, I'll be able to just a whole bunch of them, turn them on and fill up at the same time. Day two, filling them up since yesterday was a short day and I had to get the plumbing done. But I've got a full day today, so hopefully get them all done. I almost got half of them done, so definitely should get them all filled up today go go they're all now full of water all the way down I'm gonna let these marinate for a little while since we're gonna be putting fry in them small fish young fish let them season up I don't have enough mom and plants to kick to start these. So I'm gonna give this a little while before I put anything in it. Maybe about a few weeks. Now time to do some topping off on all these other tanks. They're about due for it. Green inlers. Time to get some top offs done. Got both hoses flowing and going. A little different view than usual. Being up on the ladder. Here's a CPD breeding basket. You can kind of see them swimming around in there. And this stuff in this tank is wild. It's like hardness that come from these rocks. It actually broke down. It actually broke down feel like a full like thin cookie kind of cake thing. It's caked up water hardness. It's pretty wild though. When the fish will eat it, so will the shrimp. That rock I got from my yard. Down here in Florida, it's like limestone.
So many baby self and shiners. This is in the tank right above the rope fish tank. That tank. I can't wait to get to focus in on shrimp more. This is pearl weed mat going on top of my tangerine tiger tank. Next to it, bunch of baby Julia Chromas. They're all over the tank. Which Julia Chromas is a really, really pretty type of Tanganyikan cichlid. So it's a smaller cichlid. Those fancy red tigers I got. Still alive. Barely see them through this tank though. The glare, ugh. There we go. Fire yellow neocaridinas. Fire, fire. Like they look good from a distance, but you know, the males aren't as colorful. The females, they pop. Definitely still makes it pop. Need to get that algae out of there though. All these blue bolts just chilling. And their tank's like completely black water. Well, found out why I'm not getting very many of these. Had two Orochi killifish in there. Had grown up from babies. I thought I saw some young in here, but but they become snacks. These guppies just keep unloading babies. Yeah, a lot of babies of these yellow rice fish. Matthewensis, rare rice fish, bigger rice fish. Should have some of those available on the website soon. I need to focus on breeding these guys soon, the cardinal tetras. And I'm literally running back and forth on these hoses. At least they're central now. I don't have to run back and forth. Ah, that's done. It just feels so much better in here when everything's stopped up. Besides those three, which I need to take those down. But now we're gonna do a fish room tour of what all is going on in here before I start organizing into that new fry rack. But you guys, and before I get the water change system, that way you guys see the nitty gritty, what all it's been like since a year plus without water changes and how things have been managing. Also, this is pretty wild. You see how these are clear down here? Clear up there and then down here it gets a little dingier. And I think this is because I've got this ozone machine on my well water. If I didn't have it, this is what the water would look like. And or I was getting low on the water in my well, I don't know. But it was kind of weird. Like I had so much clear water, then not. So I flushed out the ozone thing and water's clear now while I did top offs. But I'm not too worried about this. This will settle. A lot of it's just iron and sulfur mineralization and stuff within the water. 
Big reason why I don't fert my aquariums anymore is since I get a lot of that stuff from my well water. Uh, everything's nice, topped off, got rested a little bit. Now I gotta start working on this rack as far as the water chain system. So this is my shrimp rack. I get that prayer plant up there somewhere. And start getting the rest of these tanks in, which I've got these about ready to go. But here on the other side of it, there's still a bit of work to do. I've got all my painting stuff down here. I've got some of my substrate stuff and so much miscellaneous right here. So I'm gonna have to find all this new homes, get some tanks cleaned out, but finally finish this up and get the water change system in. Which as far as the plumbing goes for that, the in and outs are already mostly done. Still waiting on more valves, working on getting more valves for the rest of the fish room since they're not cheap. But that will be the next section to water and plumb. That will be the next section to plumb. Then we'll probably do this, which is my guppy and endlers, but I don't know because I still, this dry station, I'm debating whether I'm gonna put more tanks over there for more endlers. And guppies because you guys know endlers and guppies how those go you can never have enough so i may do this one next but on the other side of this is where i got the rainbow tanks so i need them all to be 20 high so i've got to get rid of all these tanks besides that one and I'm not sure what I'm going to do with them, but at least now, most of these are filled up with babies and other stuff. And now that I've got the fry rack and places to put excess, it's, it's good. Oh, and I'm freaking my wrist. Oh my God, I rebroke it. It's been a real pain in the butt. And, and I got stung by some yellow jackets. It's like I got punched in the face. So still a bit of work to do before this fish room is fully organized. But once this is done and this part is done, then, I mean, for the most part, it's all done. Besides the pond, I'm going to build a custom pond, stuff like that over there. But, like, the main, like, system lab part, like, growing and doing what I want to be able to do. The setup is here. This all get transformed into plants. I may do CO2 on these. That's my lab back there. That'll be the lab. Big reason why the shrimp rack and the inler guppy rack is next is because all these pieces are made for the 20 longs. Since I was already making all the 20 longs, five stem pieces for this project, might as well have made a bunch of them for these. So now I'm working on getting this cleared out, getting my paint cleared out, getting this all cleared out, and getting these tanks up. Boom. Boom. The first fish are in the fry rack grow out. These are lime green antler males. I had a quite a bit of excess of males. So I'll just put these in here, just kickstart things. breeding. Now if I didn't have fuzzy zoom in footage trying to film this while I was up there they'd all run away. Boom. Pow. Back to the sand business. Sand man. I almost got done with it. What the heck? Well, that might take a little while to dry out. Jeez. Thanks for watching. If you want to support us, 
hit the subscribe button, hit the like button, or check out our website, lrbaquatics.com. Take care. See you on the next one.